so again, we shouldn't criticize out of envy. We shouldn't criticize with ill motives, with a wrong heart. But friendly criticism, <clears throat> but totally necessary <laughs> for any sincere sadhaka. You need to have that discernment. Rupa Goswami, in fourth verse of Sikshasaka, uh, Sarupadisambrita, he refers to that as pretty lakshanam, as a, an expression of love to reveal the mind in confidence to others and to hear from others in confidence. That implies also finding faults and sharing constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, you as a, if we as a society forbid all forms of criticism are banned from the Gaudiya society, stigmatized criticism, which is even worse, the society is totally backwards and it, it runs closer and closer to a cult, more and more. And closer and closer to a totalitarian regime. Nobody can say anything. Nobody can criticize this or that. Mm. And there is an interesting quote in this connection by Bhaktinath Thakur, one essay he wrote called Vaishnav Ninda, where he speaks about the place for constructive criticism. So let me share it with you. He says, Provided one has the right motive, the scriptures have not condemned a careful analysis of someone's faults. Proper motive is of three types, desiring the welfare of the other person, desiring the welfare of the world, and desiring one's own welfare. The Thakur, then, uh, the, that's the end of the quote. No? So that makes very clear, there's place for that. And Bhaktino Thakur then assumes, in all these cases, if you analyze, analyze the faults of other person, even a pure devotee, mild mistakes, remember, can be, that will be an auspicious act, he will say. Provided you have the correct heart, which again, you, you are not to take that part lightly either. <laughs> <clears throat> so there is place for constructive criticism. I remember some years ago, the idea came to mind, okay, let's, let's start with some few steps to engage in constructive criticism. So four steps came to mind. No? Four do's, to do's. So you can warrant your engaging constructive criticism, which will be the following. The first is, if you are about to share constructive criticism to others, first make sure you are not projecting onto others your own faults, as we mentioned. That can be possible. Mm -hmm. So you do not end up criticizing in others some, something that is actually in yourself. So first step, make sure that's not the case. <laughs> Second, once you make that's not the case, and what you are about to criticize something in the other person, first appreciate positive things in that person, things that that person is doing nicely and that you are inspired by. It. So you are not only seeing the negative in that person. So that's creating the, a better framework. Mm -hmm. Then the third, when you are opening your mouth and sharing the, criti the critique, make sure that you are sharing the critique with the intention of actually helping the person you are criticizing you know, with a constructive intention. Because you may be accurate, he did wrong, but where is your heart in sharing that? And finally, after you open your mouth and closed it, after you share the criticism, that's not the end of the story. Then you have to commit yourself to accompany, support, and help that person you critiqued to overcome whatever you pointed that the person should overcome. There is a commitment there. It's not that I criticize you, so good luck with that one. No, that's what you have to change. See you when, call me when you have changed that. <laughs> No, no, I'm there with you to support you to overcome that thing that I, I take and I open my mind and point to do. That's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. So those four steps could be dis described as the four steps for constructive criticism, so to say. Mm -hmm. And this is not apparat. Mm -hmm. Of course, again, apparat can be there. We should be careful about that. We are not minimizing that here. But sharing again some effect objective fact that requires change with good intention is not apparat and Prabhupada will say to call a thief thief that's not wrong hmm? 